What up, Doe Ledge here? Chill with me. Man. We got one. We got one. This Max Out 3 car was definitely top two. Event of the year. Shout out to everybody involved. And one thing I will say, I know you see a lot of battles on the card. A lot. 11. But the way they do it, it seems pretty seamless. It seems because it's not that they that they um did something where it was like super quick transitions. They took their time, but it was structured. You can tell when they got right out of break, the battlers were there. It wasn't a lot of extracurriculars going on all of that got in boom now i will say this my man ref who's like the unsung hero of all of battle rap ref nelson graphics but champion restore order he's like the goat he did bring up something that they should start doing and implementing rbe arp just a thought it's nothing uh, uh, not a major change but for the undercard acts that a lot of people aren't coming to see that aren't the real draw there. Limit their time, time them, time them. I would say when I look back at this card, I would say the first four listed, no, the first three, the first three should be time. You know, I know Riggs is experienced. He's been on several platforms as well as Zay, but we need about, say two minutes, two thirty, or somewhere in there, and just time them. Like you here to display your talents. We a lot of people don't know who you guys are yet. I do. I know who all of you guys are, but there's not uh, many like me. All right, I'm just, just, I gotta start stop being humble. Yeah, these cats don't watch battle rap like that. They watch it. They just watch the big events. Man, I'm gonna be honest with you. They just watch the big events. But I'm familiar with you guys. But a lot of people aren't. So these four and five minute rounds in a three round battle. When we still got, you know, eight, nine other battles to watch, we got to cut the time. So other than that, I really ain't got no complaints. I really ain't got no complaints, man. The blue room is different and the blue is really just lighting, right? It's lighting, but it's atmosphere is something that they built and it was dope, man. Look, I'm not going to go too heavy with all of the breakdowns i'm not doing bar for bar that ain't that ain't my job i ain't a bar for bar i'm too busy watching and being engaged and paying attention to so many other things um that i'm not that's not me but you know as far as k venom and jay Bree, it was a good back and forth i gave the battle to the venom i think i gave him rounds two and three just like his penmanship the way he crafts it he's a little more layered um breed was high energy he had probably a couple of more bigger like haymakers but all in all i went with venom just to pin the consistency um i'm not gonna go in order of the battles like how they were lined up in the actual moment just going based off the car rigs and jay slash was was pretty good i expected a little bit more from jay slash he was better the previous battle um it could be a step up in competition i don't know rigs another good performance on a big platform He's picking his spots wisely, man. Riggs did well on the trenches against K Walker. Comes here, RBE, big time, one of the bigger pay per view events of the year, and clearly gets another W to me. So he's uh he's putting together a really solid resume for the year, man. I would like to see what the rest of the year looks like for him, man. He got to at least be some. He's putting himself in at least honorable mention consideration, just to be like, yo, shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? Um, Zay and Sino Savvy. Zay had one of my favorite lines of the whole night, bro. That man said so much crack on the table. It looked like an antique. Look what I have created. I have made fire. I have made fire. I don't really, it stand out when you can remember it. And he's not like one of the most notable names so for him to say that and it to stand out i seen it quoted not just by myself but by many other people battle rappers media that was a hard line man it's not like something easy to surf would say on the big stage um i got him winning the battle there was an incident 
doing, I want to say, Sino Savvy's first round where – so it was a little bit physical, right? Zay got physical first because he went first. You know, a little bump or whatever kind of got in his space. Second time around, it was Savvy's turn. Savvy gave him an extra bump, you know what I'm saying? And it was a little rougher than what Zay did. So Zay wasn't happy with that. He was like, damn, you, you're getting a little extra, right? And then so – Zay, I believe, pressed him went while while Cino was rapping. He was like, dog, you, you in my space. I can't get in front of camera. Now, this is when the security guard jumps in, who's like next to wing, kind of already in the shot. He's like kind of interfering. Where I don't think he needs to be interfering. I don't think it was about to get physical. Now, here's the thing with security guards. They err on the side of caution all the time. That's just That's actually their job. Their job is not to just, and I think people, you know, because, listen, back in the day, that's that was my gig, man. I used to supervise the guards. Like, you tell them, this is what you were trained to do. You err on the side of caution. You don't wait until something happens, then de-escalate it. You try to de-escalate it before it gets there. It's kind of their job. Now, the first time when he was just, like, checking the temperature, I was like, I don't see no big deal. But... The second time around, Sino Savvy bumps Zay again, bumps him a little even more extra aggressive, and Zay happens to knock into the security guard. The security guard gets instantly triggered, pushes Zay and Savvy out of the shot. Like, he pushed them so far, I thought they was going to land on the riot card the next day. That's how hard he pushed them. I said, oh, he... He stressed. Uh, that was a bit much from Ruben Stutter. And I ain't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't really feeling that. But all in all, um, yeah, I gave Zay that battle. So, um, two one, maybe three zero. Just like he, he was just more polished and, you know, just a little more straightforward to the point. Had a little more potent lines to me. Um, so yeah, that's it with that battle. And XL versus Def the Kid. This battle, I literally said, go watch the pre-show. Go watch it. This is why I love doing media because what I say is documented when I'm whether I'm wrong or right. Send the pre-show, max out. I say, I wouldn't be surprised if this was like top four, top five battle of the night. Now it didn't pan out that way, but that's just a testament to how good the card was. Because this battle on any other card would have been a top three battle of the night. On any other card, this. I ain't going to say it. But this card would have been a top three card. I mean, this battle would have been a top three battle on any other card, man, pretty much. Um, it was really good out the gate. XL showing the veteran uh, just know-how and captivating the crowd, um, being very, very strategic, breaking them down. It was just really good, man. Def just didn't show no fear. He was very in the pocket. He was creative. He had bombs. He said something about carrying the game. Something he had a professor and one line, and he kept going. Like it was, it was crazy, man. Um, first round, I think I gave it to Death. If I'm not mistaken, second and third, I feel like XL edged slightly, or no, maybe I gave XL the first two and Death the third. That's probably what I did because. No, 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 no. I'm right. I'm going back. Go, go back. Because Def had like more of a storytelling round in the third, but he was kind of a little choppy trying to figure it out. So I scratched that round. XL, I thought he kind of clearly got the second. But um, in Def, uh, excuse me, in uh, XL may have, may have like, may have gotten him a little rattle. I don't know because that second was kind of, Kind of, kind of hitting, man. So maybe when the third came, you're just like, ah, um, I can't do it, can't do it. So yeah, I got XL in the second and the third. Um, death first was was fired, or that might that actually might have been my favorite round of the battle, though. His first might have been my favorite round of the battle. He was going upstairs. That reminded me of remember when Chess uh, kind of it wasn't to that same level, but when Chess went against Tay Rock, the veteran, and kind of put pressure on him, and you was like, oh shit. It's like one of those. It's like one of those. So shout out to both of them, man. Now let's get to 
the the heavier highlighted cards, man. The heavy highlighted cards, man. The heavy highlighted names, excuse me. QB, Black Diamond versus RX. RX was on the show. She said, homegirl ain't got a pen. She gonna have to show me. She gonna do a lot of disrespect, but she ain't gonna be able to rap with me. That wasn't the case. That wasn't the case. Um, I got QB. I got QB 2-1. Rounds one and three gave rx a second the rx a second she had a fire rebuttal out the gate rx when you you know how to rebuttal when you start doing that i don't maybe i missed it i didn't know you had that ability but damn now it was fire too it was a fire joint so yeah man i i gotta give it up man qb Still had the disrespect stuff, right? Still had, like, the real aggressive bully material. But she really had some penmanship in some of, those, some of the things she was crafting up, whether it was about her race or religion or her looks, things like that. And she was tied up with a beautiful punch. I thought when QB is more like 64, there's a balance with QB. I keep, QB, listen here. When you do what you do, keep doing it like i get it disrespect bully aggressive but balance is the key to your success i feel like when qb is like a lot of time when qb is bad to me and when it's just off is when she's like 80 20 when it's 80 percent disrespect aggressive and like 20 percent like bars and pen but when you're this uh, this battle she was more like 60 40 65 35 you in that range, you are pretty tough to beat for any woman for sure. But like, yeah, because I like her low key. I like her in the A War battle a little bit. I like her in the Robin Rhymes battle. Stay in that mode. Like you can still do your thing, but we wanna we wanna see what you we wanna hear something that's like oh that was creative. Like come on, stay in that pocket, QB. That was fine. That was some good work. Some good work. That was a good battle. Very, very good battle. It was really close. It was 1-1 going to the third. Um, RX, she was just, she was really choppy, really choppy. And um, it kind of cost her because she was kind of losing. She had momentum in the third and then kind of lost it. So it was just like, ah, tough. But that was her debut. And let me tell you this, caution, caution with a K. You over there talking crazy. I don't know if you want to battle RX. I don't, I don't. No, if you want to, I don't know. I, don't, I like that matchup, but I don't know. So we'll, we'll see. Um, Head Ice and Show Off. I'm be honest, man. It was, this was kind of, it was cool at, in some moments. I expected so much more from this battle, especially Show Off coming off of that Chef Tress performance. Because he, he watches this. But I can't, I can't do it, man. Listen, show off. If you familiar with me, which I'm sure you are because I had you on the show, people, I got to keep it 100 because you wouldn't respect me if I didn't. You wouldn't. Res if you a man of respect and all that, I hear you. You wouldn't respect me if I didn't. So I got to do it. This was a store run battle. What are we getting from the store? Hungry Jack mashed potatoes, rave hairspray, and nacho cheese Doritos. Um... Now, I got show off winning barely. I got him winning the third and the second. So, like, Ice got the, the first because um, Ice, oh, it was really his his beginning and end. Like, the opening couple of eight to ten, he, I thought Ice was good. The last, he ended on a good note. Kind of in between, he was just in. Eh. I feel like he was dying off, but that's kind of what you get from Ice now. Like, you get these ebbs and flows of good material with okay material, back to good material, and eh. Show off got more consistent in the second, and his third was his best round. Um, I got show off winning that. Not too much to harp on, but yeah, it I, the replay value. When I call it a store run battle, to me, is if I missed it, 
like, so I watched the battle, right? Now I think to myself, this is store run battle. For everybody who's paying attention, if you knew here, a store run battle is after you watch it, you ask yourself, if I had went to the store, would I want to see this battle? Like, damn, I what did I miss? After watching it, like, now that I look back, I, you'd be like, damn, I could have went to the store and got something while this is going on. Because you might not be able to do that when another battle come on because it might be good. That was your opportunity to hit the store. That's a store run battle. It's not that it was as terrible, but it's like I could have I could have killed some time doing something else that I had to do while watching this. You know what I'm saying? So just got to be honest, man. Got to be honest. Can't lie to you guys. Calico and Goods. Dope, 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 dope battle. Um, This is where it's really, really close. There's. It's, it's some close battles I gotta gotta call. Um Goods got the clearest round of me in the third. Yeah, Goods Goods got the clearest round of me. The third was pretty clear, pretty pretty precise. Um but Cal got the first to me after a really good first from Goods. That's a that's a swing round. I like I don't if you got goods when if you got goods winning the battle, I can just I, I got Cal winning edging, literally edging razor's edge the first two, but the clearest round goes to goods. So here's the thing. If you judge it based on like who got the clearest round or something like that, and it was like he was the mo probably more consistent from round per round, then you probably got goods winning. That makes sense. Like, hey, they both were kind of 50 50 each round, but then the third good separated in that third so if you judge like that then i totally see it that way i'm more of like who won this round i'm round per round guy so round per round i edged calico slightly in the first and i edged them in the second too even with the little like delay because the crowd was just getting kind of crazy that's been a common theme um we get into that maybe probably with the riot card, which I don't even know if I want to do a full recap on because that card was all right. But anyway, um, and here's the thing, the angle about his dad being white fake angle. This is what I like y'all trying to make battle rap like y'all can't pick y'all got to make up your mind. If y'all want this to be in an entertainment type of theater, you know, type of event. It shouldn't matter if the angle is real. And I'm sorry. Because this is WWE, baby. This is the soap operas. This is a play. You guys know each other. You rock with each other. You travel on the road. Only thing y'all don't do like the theater is rehearse together. Even though some of y'all, you know, even though some of them do. But for the most part, that's what this is. This is a play. This is theater. This is a show. You're here to entertain. When I'm at a play or I'm at a show or I'm watching a movie, I'm not like expecting it all to be based on a true story and everything be exactly real. When I'm watching wrestling, when I see, used to see Stone Cold pull out a gun on Brian Pillman, I didn't care if it was real. I was entertained by it. So this whole being fake, oh, we got it, the angle got to be real. Listen, if the angle was real, it enhances the angle more. The angle is fake. It's just entertaining and fake. But I was entertained when he was saying it. So I don't care about none of that, bro. Like, it's too much real. Um, Y'all going to get me out of my bed. It's too much real stuff going on outside of battle rap for me to care about what's real in battle rap. You get what I'm saying? Am I making sense to y'all? Because also, if we about to start caring about if angles are real or not, then we're going to have to scratch a lot of battles off. We're going to have to really go back to the drawing board. So save it. Save it. Just say who you who material you like more. If you like goods material more, I like goods material a lot. I always said y'all got goods messed up. This is he's from he's comfortable here. It's Lions Den. Like this ain't new to him. This ain't new to Cal either. These guys just been so established for so long on on a, on a top tier level that all you remember is seeing them on big stages. But they all come from that. Same thing with Hitman, which we're talk about in a minute all right but that was a really good battle though shout out to both um i'm shocked that they battled though because they were, i know they're cool with each other 
Like I've seen Goods come out and you know be a co-host at some of his events. So it was just, it was a little odd to see, but they did what they needed to do. Um, so shout out to them, dope dope battle. Uh, Young Ill and Big K. Look, I seen a lot of St. Louis people giving him the win, giving him rounds two and three. Three was his best round, but I don't do sympathy. I don't do the sympathy shit, man. Sorry. I don't. I don't do the, this is your best round, so you won the round. I'm round per round guy. Was his third round better than Big K's? It wasn't. Big K, 30. 30 piece, boneless, extra crispy, greens, mashed potatoes, biscuits, we're going to go Strawberry Fanta today. We're going to go Strawberry Fanta. Got him up out of there. <sighs> Big K is one of the leading can. I see people trying to, and it's usually his king of the dot buddies. You know, it's the, the sources, the directs. It's, it's all of them saying he's out in front. It's not even, I don't know if y'all just fell asleep at the wheel. Have y'all forgot Rum Nitty's R- schedule? Um... It will just battle Hitman and Hollow. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like I'll, like he's battling like the 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 legends of all legends up there. So I don't know. Then you got Easy. He he just battled Hitman this year. He about to battle Geechee. He battled Reed this year. If I'm not mistaken. Wait, Easy battled Reed, Diz, and Hitman, and about to battle Geechee. So why are they so dismissive? Never mind. I don't know. But yeah, I'm not. Yeah. This was a walk in the park for the dog. That's a, come on. This was a walk in the park for the dog. Come on. Come on, dog. Oh, come on, man. All right. Let me just get to the next battle. Young Ill, nice seeing you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You lost your whole teeth in the second round. You pulled an old red. That was kind of crazy. All right, I'm going to move on because I was about to I, I forgot. I thought this was TTP and cut. It's not. All right, let me move on. Um, a verb and a ward, man. The battle every, the most anticipated battle on the card. Hands down. Hands down. Uh, What can I say, man? We all seen it, the Glock 40, 40 line. Now, people who are acting like really, really stupid, like, oh, man, people be cussing all the time. Y'all giving him extra marks if rum nitty said it no shit yes we're giving him yes it was different because he said it because of who he is and, and yes that, the whole yes the shock value of it yes yeah yeah well what should say yeah 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 you damn right but the build-up to it was is what made it hit if he would have just came out the gate Glock 40. Oh, I don't know if it would have hit. It probably, I don't know. That probably would have been crazy. <laughs> that, that was his first opening words. That probably would have been crazy too. But the build up to it, the Isaiah, the talking, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't know why y'all acting like surprised and y'all can't see the difference why it mattered for him to say it as opposed to people who cuss and use gun bars all the time. Like y'all acting really slow. Um, St. Louis, listen, Verb came to work. Verb, was talking to that man's soul. I, I always said this about Verb. Verb got soul food. Like some of y'all got fast food where it's just like it was cool at the moment. But Verb finds a way to say stuff that lasts forever. Like I don't get it. Like whether it's Guardian Angels, like, he say stuff that just hits home and you never forget it. Um, I just, yeah, I really appreciate what he did. Um, it's a tough battle to judge, man. I feel like Verb got the third. Ward got the second. That first is. And I know y'all like dog led. You ain't never. You don't never do toss ups. So you can't do 50 50. Either. If I had to lean after watching it, I watched. That's the battle I watched the most since it since all of them hit the VOD. Shout out to Rap Grid. It hit the VODs are available. Um, I think I'm still leaning towards Ward slightly. He has some, he has some, 
he had some lines, bro. He had some lines, man. I don't, you know, like I said, I ain't the quotable guy, but he has some joints in there outside of the – I think Glock 40 is where everybody remember, and it feels like since that's all people are quoting, he didn't say nothing else, but clearly y'all guys just, you know. A Ward is really is hated too in a different in a different way. Like I don't think they hate his his material. I think they hate how people like him. I think they hate the like for A Ward more than they hate him. So it's just weird. But I got him. I'm edging him, and I thought it would be close like this. I don't know why people thought Ward was just going to dog walk Verb with a whole bunch of St. Louis representatives there in a small room. Like how that's why I was saying, man. Y'all be underestimating these vets. I don't get it. Um, that was a really good battle, man. One of the best battles I've seen all year, to be honest. Just really like it, man. Just it had everything. It didn't. Have, it was a grudge match. Uh, Verb took it from being just a normal battle of two top tiers on the same card to something that we wanted to see and we cared about the outcome. That's really rare when you consider how many big name battles done happen already. So, shout out to them, man. Job well done. Hitman Hollow versus Ill Will. Man, this is this is the best hitman I've seen probably since the Bill Collector battle. If I'm being honest, it's probably the best. This is probably the best, and I might like him better in this battle. I might. Ill Will. Let me tell you this: If Ill Will has beaten the likes of T Top, the Bailey beat it. The he beat Geechee. He beat Gotti. I think y'all try to sweep that under the rug because it was a surprise battle and it's on the app. It's not on YouTube. But he beat Gotti. He beat Av. He's beating some guys. He arguably beat Hollow to me. I got him beating Hollow. You can argue it, but I got him beating Hollow. What tier is he? Like, why? Is he not of the God tiers now? His resume is saying it. And his work is saying it. I got this battle going to ill will very, very slightly too. Like I said, the a lot of these top battles were very close. If you got Hitman winning, I don't care. I'm not mad. Just don't say no crazy shit like it was a 30 or something. Don't don't get too crazy. But I got I got ill will. What rounds did I give him? I believe I gave him the first. In the, in the second, maybe. I gave him the first for sure. I gave him the first for sure. I did like, you know, the bullets, the ball head, the bullets and ball head when, he, you know, Hitman reveals the bullets jersey, takes off the hat, Jordan from the Wizards. Really dope. Dope, dope op way to open up that 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 um first round. I just think Ill Will was so relentless. He's so versatile. He's hard to beat. Um, Hitman kind of did what he, was true to him. Out accolade you. He tried to out accolade you and like basically big boy, big brother him. Talk about his uh, leadership and, and things he's done for the Midwest, things he's done for his class and things like that. You know, it, and, but I like the fly talk. I like I, I think when you're the vet and you're the top tier, you got to flex on them. You got to. You got to. That's 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 that counts. Like, I don't don't ever let somebody try to me. All he going to do is like talk about he got more views than me, more money than me, more successful than me. <laughs> if I had all those things in my favor, I would, too. So I'm not I'm never checking off like, nah, man, it's a, it, it counts. It counts. But um, I just think. Ill Will was just, he was elite. He was elite over the weekend, man. He's been elite, but he's, he is somebody I just trust in these big moments to rise to the occasion, yo. So I gave the battle to Ill Will 2-1. So just a rundown. I got Ill Will 2-1, Ward 2-1, Big K with a 30, Calico 2-1, Show Off 2-1, QB 2-1. Um, and I just, I got XL, Zay, Riggs and K Venom. Damn, I got the whole left side you know, the, uh, when it comes to the last four. So, yeah, man, salute and salute to the fans. You know why I want to salute the fans? Because we were able to champion this event without slandering other events. I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that. Like, oh, man, 
They we we gave RBE their flowers without even mentioning the ops or whatever you want to call them, right? But I say all that to say I couldn't help but compare and think about it. This shit blew that this shit blew Summer Madness 13 away. I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm sorry. This shit, man, man, what? Listen, URL, you on the clock. Y'all got homecoming too in November. Y'all better cook up some shit. Y'all better. Cause this ain't Max out three, boy. Max Stay Forever is still number one to me. Stay forever. Max out three is a hair behind it only just based off of impact i think battle for battle max out three might be number one to be honest with you but you know it's pat's family it's for pat smack and organic patching things up the surprise of gin coming out like come on this is like too much going on it's too much the impact was crazy i don't even know if summer madness will be third on the list i actually like divide and conquer what was that two that might be Man, never mind. I ain't about to make this about them. Max out, RBE, salute to y'all. Job well done. Way to keep things minimalistic. Small room, blue room, top tiers, medium tiers, whatever. Inviting all the media. It just keeping it very simple. Battle rap is a simplistic entertainment structure. We really don't need bells and whistles. I mean, look at the venues we be in. We be in venues where there's pretty much standing rooms where you're standing up. And we still come away like we just really like the essence of battle rap is is from the street. So it's used to not having much. So you give a roof over our heads, a couple of cheers, some beverage and some food and some good battles. We straight. We straight. You're talking to somebody who's been here since the 90s, man. I've been watching this as a youth. We sh we good. We good. We don't need all that. It's nice to see it every night, two to three times out of a year. But this is what we need to keep doing. All right. That's my time. As always, keep it battle rap. Peace and love.